Tonight, these pictures are shaking up the Chicago Police Department. Officers on duty, relaxing, drinking coffee, some even helping themselves to something to eat during the recent protests. The surveillance video was captured in the early morning hours of June 1st as protests occurred throughout the city and within blocks of the lounging police. Everybody's trying to shame us. The legislators. The press. Oh my God. Everybody's trying to shame us. People broke into the office, but once they were gone, 13 officers sat and lounged inside for as long as five hours. Stop treating us like animals and thugs and start treating us with some respect. Truly remarkable, truly astounding. The lengths officers will go to defend their actions of assault and the violation of citizens' rights and those peacefully protesting yet cry foul when they are called out for their own inactions. In Chicago, CNN reports 13 Chicago police officers lounged and slept in the Congressional Campaign Office of Representative Bobby Rush on June 1st as protests and looting occurred throughout the city. After Lightfoot's strong criticism, where she promised the several officers seen relaxing, making coffee and popcorn, and in one case sleeping, should face the strongest possible action that we can take for effectively shrugging off their duties while social unrest rocked the city, the police union is crying conspiracy, claiming the officers were set up and that they were invited in. The representative whose office it was, Bobby Rush, well, he thinks quite differently. They uh, were in my office sleeping, having coffee, on cell phones, putting their feet up on my desk. What cowards? What cowards? These are absolutely a bunch of cowards in blue uniform. He went on to say, once again, the Chicago PD has revealed its true nature, true character. They enter my office without being invited. They, in the midst of looting and rioting, 13 officers decided they were going to abandon their posts and relax in my office, he said. What an absolute crock this is. The campaign office was broken into on Sunday, May 31st, when the surrounding strip mall was looted, Lightfoot told CNN. She said the police officers entered the campaign office early Monday, June first. Thus, they were there for five hours. This is indefensible. They want the money to go to other community resources like mental health, drug abuse, and education programs. And you wonder why defund the police is so strong. The United States women's soccer player Megan Rapino is a supporter of this movement. She signed the petition to defend black lives and defund the police, asking others to do so through her Instagram account. As protests continue on at the forefront is a simple ask. Stop shooting and killing unarmed minorities in America. There's a lot of things that need to change. Uh, one, one specifically is police brutality. Cops are getting paid leave for killing people. That's not right. It was the cornerstone of Colin Kaepernick's protest, which NFL owners and league commissioner Roger Goodell disapproved of. Right alongside Black Lives Matter is defunding the police. It's very simple. As USA Today wrote, it means taking funding away from police forces across the country. Not like getting rid of it. It's basically control z right? So it's starting again. So it's not yes. like there's no police. It's not like it's welcome. The purge is upon us. That is the thing like to understand about defund the police. It is not about n no, no police. police. It's about what the police do. It's a push to reallocate those funds into social programs. Take it from police chief David Brown who said, we are asking cops to do too much in this country. Every societal failure, we put it off on cops.